when Katrina hit, the lights went out and there was no food to eat. My little cousin, my uncle died during the storm. Two big oak trees fell on the house. I started crying because I was worrying about my other family. We went a lot of other different places. I couldn't tell you all because I forget so fast. When it happened, it's, it felt something inside of me kind of crumbled up and just broke. In the weeks and months after hurricanes Katrina and Rita unleashed their fury on the Gulf Coast, the region's young people faced almost unimaginable losses. Homes and belongings were destroyed. Friends, neighbors, and family members were dispersed. Out of touch, gone. Some forever. Whole communities had disintegrated. And in many places, the pace of restoration was intolerably slow. But in the midst of this devastation, a seed has been planted. Students and teachers across the Gulf Coast are being engaged as contributors with important roles to play in restoring that which has been lost. It's happening through a program called the Gulf Coast Walkabout. We've gone out into the community, we knock on doors, we introduce ourselves, we talk to people we wouldn't normally talk to, we wave at people we wouldn't normally wave at. You know, and we've been uh, helping out. The kids have been offering to help without us having to initiate a push, you know. From its inception in the summer of 2006, this program, designed by the National Youth Leadership Council, has made clear that even in the face of great adversity, young people have much to give. You can touch people's lives with a cup of water, a generosity of, of uh, being a friend, being a neighbor. By tapping the energy, ideas, and capacities of students in grades five through eight, along with their teachers and college-aged volunteer leaders, the Gulf Coast Walkabout has provided an extraordinary summer school experience for hundreds of students an experience that merges community service with progressive strategies for enhancing curriculum-based learning. Walkabout program is where service learning meets the curriculum. It's where the projects and the events of the that you do in the community meets literacy skills, meets environmental science, meets mathematics. While enhancing learning and building resiliency in the program's young participants, the Gulf Coast Walkabout, with major funding provided by State Farm, has also provided inspiration and much needed help for communities that were among the hardest hit by Hurricanes Katrina and Rita. Moss Point in Picayune, Mississippi, New Orleans, Louisiana, and Port Arthur, Texas. The young people's work grew from outdoor explorations and needs assessments of their communities. From these neighborhood assessments, the students and their teachers created projects that addressed unmet needs stemming from the hurricane that fit within the general themes of oral history, environmental restoration, and emergency preparedness. The children enjoyed the oral history report. They wrote their, did their interview and wrote it into a story form and presented those in class. Creating hurricane preparedness kits for children at a summer camp provided a valuable public service and a sense of empowerment for the students themselves, who must be ready to face future storms. These kids are really ready for the next hurricane. They, don't, they can tell you in a minute what you need, batteries, light, radio, they know it. They got it going on. <laughs> the immense impacts of the storms inspired environmental projects that improved conditions within the students' neighborhoods from planting trees and building birdhouses to learning about the importance of preserving wetlands. One thing that the children learned this summer about environmental restoration is to take care of what you have today because you never know when it will be taken away from you. When we sit down and we teach them, we make a potted plant uh, to go give to an elderly person to cheer them up, but yet at the same time they're learning what's in the minerals and the soil and what it takes for that plant to live. With care taken by the teachers to connect the project's powerful life lessons with academic content in science, social studies, and language arts, Gulf Coast Walkabout made learning relevant, exciting, and vitally important. 
biggest thing I learned this summer was how to sit down and analyze things before just doing it. How to sit down and think about it before taking action. What I learned new about my classmates is that they can do things if they put their mind to it and if they work together. I learned new about myself that I can help, that I am important, and that I can do whatever that I can do to make this, make the town look better. In New Orleans, students also began their projects with a neighborhood assessment. It, it was about preparation. The kids understood that it was their job to go out and assess the community. The urban landscapes devastated by Katrina and Rita stimulated a range of creative responses. Oral history projects, reading mentorships with younger children, the establishment of a literary museum, park restoration and gardening, and the construction of benches at a bus stop beside a nursing home. We've created two benches. There's a lot of algebra that went into creating those benches. I think Walkabout has impacted my students' learning because it has increased their, their knowledge of, of civic engagement, something that wasn't as important to them before. It doesn't make sense to cram them into a room all day where they're doing just only pencil and paper work, where the audience is only the teacher. I think that's the other thing that makes service learning so great, is if you're creating a product, it's going out to the community, and that gives it meaning. There are some pretty fundamental uh, processes that you need to tap into that help young people are likely to help them recover. And one of the most important is to give them back a sense that they have some control over the world. And I think programs that are empowering young people that try to build their leadership, which is at the very core and essence of what they try to do in the walkabout programs, can play a very important role after everything has been taken away from you. I think the young people are definitely the key to rebuilding New Orleans. They don't understand the light that they have. It liberates others to do things. It motivates others to get involved. It motivates others to want to achieve some things for the city, for the community, for themselves. Me and my friends been thinking that we were going to start service learning like a club to help us with service learning projects, like going out in the community and uh, visiting elderly people at nursing home. The only way our community is gonna get clean is we go out there and we do it. Knowing the community just not gonna clean itself, but we have to go out there and do it. I too have learned that the students have more power than we give them credit for, and they have a lot more going for them sometimes. You know, as a teacher, you're usually stuck in that mode to tell them this, they do this, you tell them something else, they do something else, where it's, it should be more of a give and take situation. Some kids here in New Orleans are coming forward now with suggestions as how they see the school system can be better, which is excellent. After all, this is going to be their city. The things that need to be done in the community are first about the kids, because the kids come first. And I think that we need a boys and girls club so the kids can stop running these streets every day and every night because it is too dangerous. The Gulf Coast Walkabout program has demonstrated that when disaster strikes, young people can thrive as contributors who have important roles to play in healing the people and rebuilding the communities that surround them. We help, we